Our next guest has been deemed one of seven artists shaping the sound of 2024 by the New York Times. Country music television calls her one of the next women in country. Even catching the attention of global superstar Beyonce, she brings glam country to the forefront with tracks like the viral Buckle Bunny. Let's take a listen. I'm at the mini mart in a mini skirt, about to steal your man in a torn up t-shirt. This ain't the Hamptons. We got tram stamps, acrylic covered and barbecue at the line dance cast. Throw me in a saddle, spin me like a spur, make my snake skin rattle. Tanner Adele is here now to unpack all her recent success. Welcome to the show, Tanner. Hi. I was trying to maintain my composure and not jam no, it up girl, and not same. dance. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about, first of all, I have to say I'm old because I didn't know what a buckle bunny is. It's kind of a, tends to be a derogatory term about yes. women, but you've kind of reclaimed and taken this to put it out in a, in a different, in a different way. Give us a sense yeah. of what, why you decided to do that. Yeah, well, I love the hair, I love the nails, obviously the jewelry, everything about being glamorous. And in the Western culture, sometimes it's kind of frowned upon to care about what you look like on the outside. But I wanted to take it back and make it, you know, I, I'm very, country. I grew up that way, but I love all the things that make me glamorous. And if that's what being a buckle bunny is, then I guess I am. <laughs> and you just released a new track, Whiskey Blues. Want to take a listen to that? You got me thinking of your drinking cause your love is over. Proof I got a bad case of the whiskey blues. And to me, that sound is really kind of blending different genres of music. Where does that sound come from? Yeah, you know, this song's very personal to me, and people have heard the Buckle Bunny, they've heard the Trailer Park Barbie, and this is a side of me that people are just now seeing kind of for the first time. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit grungy, mm -hmm. so you have this program throughout the song that's not a typical pop song, it's not a typical country song, it really is the two worlds coming together, and, um, genuinely pop country, which I just love. And you say that you manifested working with Beyonce. Now, I know in Buckle Bunny, you have that one line where it's like looking like Beyonce with a lasso. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what came first? How did you manifest working with her? Yes, you know, I, I've been a Beyonce fan my whole life and looking like Beyonce with a lasso, you know, Beyonce is the pinnacle of black women and, and that success and what she has done for black women in general. And when I say looking like Beyonce with a lasso, I'm saying, looking like a black woman in country music. Mm. That's what that line means. The song is filled with, you know, fun lines that really do have a much deeper meaning. And so you actually do sing along with her on Blackbird, which was a song originally written by Paul McCartney for the Beatles yes. about black women yes. during the civil rights era. Yes. So talk to me about how that collaboration came about. Yes, you know, Blackbird is my dad's favorite song. Mm. It's a song, one of the first songs I learned how to play on guitar and Paul McCartney is just an absolute icon. Mm -hmm. So to be able to not only be on the album with Beyonce, but on such a special song is my wildest dreams. And she chose some you, but also some up and coming country music stars. Yes. And then you all got Blackbird tattoos. Yes, we did. It's healing currently. Oh, but so it's brand new. Yes, <laughs> we got, um, matching tattoos, but they're a little bit different in just kind of our own style and the way that we want. But, you know, we've been in Nashville for a really long time grinding and I've been working in Nashville for almost three years. It'll be three years this summer. And um, to be able to now have such an accomplishment with Beyonce and dropping Whiskey Blues is like, I mean, the momentum is momentuming. Mm -hmm. Give us a sense of what we can expect coming up in the future. I know you have some performances into yes. the summer. Yes, I love performing live. It's my favorite thing. And now with a couple songs that are out, I'm really excited to be able to perform at Stagecoach, <laughs> which is a big bucket list item for country artists in general. Um, but yeah, touring a lot this summer, really excited. Tanner Adele, what a pleasure and a joy to, to be with you here in studio. You can listen to her new track, Whiskey Blues, wherever you stream your music.